Hey, what's going on guys? It's Pat and welcome back to another mod showcase And today we are gonna take a look at the too much TNT mod This mod adds in a lot of different TNT and some are just really big explosions while others have some unique abilities as well I'm not gonna be going over all the different recipes. Honestly, there is just too much TNT I would suggest using not enough items if you're using this mod because yeah You're not gonna remember all these anyway and it'll take up a lot of the video when we could just be blowing stuff up just as an example, I'll show you guys normal TNT, you know, it makes a tiny little explosion. But there is some pretty epic stuff here. So yeah, that is normal TNT. This right here is TNT times 5. So it basically makes like 5 times the size explosion. And if you don't have a good computer, it's probably going to struggle on some of the bigger ones. And here we go. Bam! Pretty big size, but they get really big. This green one times 20. And I've even had some issues with the really large ones, um, but we'll see what happens. All right, here we go. Times 20 TNT. Wait for it. Bam. Now that is a big explosion. I mean, you can have a lot of fun with this. Just be careful. If it's like your normal Minecraft world, you may want to back it up in case you have an accident. This one right here is TNT times 100. And if you don't have a decent PC, this one may crash your Minecraft. But um, here we go. This one is sick. All right, better get a good view of this. Times 100. It's like having 100 pieces of TNT right there. And it sometimes it takes a second and then goes. Oh, God. There we go. Now, that is an explosion. And I believe I actually found a mine shaft. Yeah, I did. Mine shaft, like, right down there. On um, the one after this is times 500, and it crashes my Minecraft, like, 80% of the time. But I can show you guys what it looks like after it blows up. Alright guys, this is what happened after I blew up the times 500 TNT. It like really destroyed my world over here. As you can tell, this is just one piece of TNT that did this. And everything is destroyed. And yeah, sorry I can't show in video. Um, it lags pretty damn bad anyway. And <laughs> it sometimes crashes my Minecraft as well. And there's an even worse TNT, Meteor TNT, which I'll show you guys next. So guys, this is the aftermath of the Meteor TNT, and yeah, this is like the biggest explosion ever. And it really wrecked some havoc around here. And these are the only two TNTs I couldn't show you guys the actual explosion for. All the other ones should work in video. This is just one of those that really can crash you if you don't have a very good computer. And mine is good, and it still crashed me a bunch of times. But yeah, this is what the explosion looks like. There's actually like a dungeon right here. That, that is pretty weird. And I'm so just tempted to... I can't not look. I have a problem. Like, I have to know. Diamond horse armor, music disc, and a bunch of other stuff. So, yeah, I just can't not look. It, it'll drive me crazy. All right, guys. The next one is called the Flat Bomb TNT. And this one, like, flattens out an area. Maybe we can kind of flatten this out. Let's see if we can here. All right. And most of these um shouldn't be too bad. You should be able to run the other TNTs. Some of them are pretty big, but should be able to handle this. And kind of flattened it out a bit here. So, if there's, like, a hill in the way, you could probably just, like, blow it up with that. Um, this one's really cool. The mining flat bomb. So, you get far underground, and you really want to, like, spread out for some mining. This one is the one for that. So, what I'm going to do is, like, dig underground really quick here. And blow it up. And we can have, like, our own mine set up. And I'm pretty sure there's torches that goes with this one, too. So, here we go. I'm right in my face. TNT in my face. And, bam. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So now you have this, like, area where you can mine. I can even see, like, iron and coal. I thought this was, like, one of the coolest ones. So the next one we're going to look at is the Compact TNT. And this one is definitely a lot of fun. I'm going to put it in the forest. It's really going to destroy this forest badly. But here we go. Blow it up. I love mods like this. There's so much fun to mess around with. And here we go. And it turns into regular TNT, which all ignites as well. That's why it's so cool. And the explosion is growing. TNT jumping all over the place. And you end up with a really big crater, too. Um, now we're actually on to some, like, weirder ones. Like, this one makes you a house. Like, you can make a house out of TNT. Who knew? So if you blow it up, it's actually not, you know, very dangerous, this one. And, bam. Got myself a house. Kind of cool. It is made of cobblestone. There really isn't too much to it. But I kind of like the idea that they put something unique like this in. There's a crafting table in it. And I believe there are a couple more houses. So I'm going to put these away. And we've got the brick house and the wood house. So we'll do the wood house first. And then we'll do the brick one. So let's get a little room right here. And we will blow it up. Not that I'm really blowing anything up. I'm like creating. I'm a creator. 
And this one is a little bit better. It's like an upgrade. Let me find the door. I'm getting lost here. And yeah, this one, um, there's actually a furnace in it. There's nothing in the furnace. Don't worry. Checking for you. And a bed as well. And the best one, of course, is the brick house. So we'll make it right here. And yeah, I think this is it for the, like, creating a building explosives. Oh, chicken. Are you all right? Yeah, he's fine. Don't worry. That <laughs> he got, like, hit in the wall right there. So yeah, this is the best one. It has, like, a nice floor made of wool on the bed. Something got messed up there, but normally works. And there's a furnace, and this one even has a chest in it, too. So pretty cool. So the next one is Fire TNT. You could probably imagine what this does, and I, I love the animation. Some of them are really cool. So we're about to start a fire right now. Bam. Fire all over the place. I think that is so cool. I'm not sure why you'd want to do it. Maybe to kill some mobs or something. Um, let's try to calm it down with some snow. So yeah, there is snow TNT as well. Like I mentioned, there's a lot of unique versions of TNT. Like, they did a lot with this mod. Snow. So if you want your house in, like, a snowy type area, you kind of could add some snow to it. Or if you just want, like, snow for some um, snow golems, that'd be perfect. And this one is the ocean TNT. And it, like, literally creates an ocean, sort of. It's like a lake. Here we go. And it looks so cool. There's, like, water coming out of it. Probably should back up a little bit, though. And there we go. There's even squids. <laughs> Look at them. They're swimming through it. And it looks like it connected to everything else. But, um, yeah, the water is, like, flowing down. I've noticed this sort of an issue. Like, the water will just stop in one spot and start flowing down. But it definitely is very cool. Um, the next one is Hellfire. Probably shouldn't be near the water for that one. And this one is interesting. I haven't seen anything like this before. All right, so Hellfire kind of makes it the nether. And that is awesome right there. Ready for a cool explosion. And here we go. Come on, it's taking its time. It's freaking me out, actually. And there we go. There's gas around and a lot of fire. And as you can tell, some of these take a few seconds to actually, like, generate. Probably because they're so cool. And there's, like, lava there, too. Um, so the next one. This one's important. Vaporize. What it does, it gets rid of lava and water. So probably gonna want to try it, like, you know, next to the water. So it actually does something. So we'll put it right there. And we will blow it up. Vaporize this water. Fell right in the water. It should work. Doesn't actually destroy blocks. And there we go. Got rid of a lot of the water right there. So yeah, if you want to get rid of an ocean, you definitely could do that. Alright, so we are on to the Ender Bomb. This one is interesting too. It doesn't like teleport you, but it knocks you back like a million feet. So I'm going to stand right here, right in front of it. Creative mode, it works too. And here we go. Whoa! How sick was that? So yeah, it knocked me really far away. Now I'm falling to my doom. So if you were in survival, that probably would be a problem, I'd imagine. All right, now we're on to the nuclear TNT. So this one right here, I think this is the one that puts, like, this, like, nuclear waste on the ground. I'm not 100% sure until we do it, though. I'm pretty sure it kills trees, though. And here we go. I'm so impatient. I just want it to blow up. And, yeah, that one knocked me back, too. And all this stuff on the ground is nuclear waste. And I'm pretty sure it hurt the trees. Yeah, it, it doesn't look so good over here. Big explosion, knock me back, and nuclear waste everywhere. And if you're in survival, if you step on this, it, it hurts you. Like this sheep right here. Do you mind testing this for us? Will this hurt you? I think it will. Yeah, it's dangerous. Oh, God, get off it. It's dangerous. Okay, it's too late now. The sheep has died. Rest in peace. All right, guys, so the next TNT is freeze TNT. And what it does, it, like, freezes everything around it. Like, this tree will become an ice tree in one second. We will test it. Here we go. And yeah, this tree should completely freeze into ice. Bam. Pretty cool. I like it. Has a cool look to it. The tree is obviously very unhappy. But, um, you can definitely turn things into ice. And this one is the floating TNT. It, like, rises into the air and then explodes. Like, I'm trying to find, like, a good spot to use this where it would really help us. Like, I don't know why you'd actually use it, but, um, it is interesting. So, I'm gonna put it down, like, at the bottom of this very, very small mountain. Actually, maybe down here would be better. Yeah, we'll put it in here. And it's gonna rise into the air and explode. Look at it going up. I hope the pig survives. It might not. I'm pretty sure it's a decent-sized explosion. Yeah, it, it was a nice explosion. Pretty big, right? It really destroyed the land. Um, the next one is chemical TNT. There is just so many kinds of TNT here. And this one, I'm not sure what it does. I can't remember, but yeah, it does that. 
A cool, like, explosion down into the ground. Do you want to get down deep? That is gonna work. Like, chemicals somehow destroying the land. Alright, so we're on to erupting TNT. I feel like it, like, erupts up more TNT or something like that. Yeah, there we go. TNT flying into the air and coming down and exploding. The pig is watching and, and then he died. So, yeah, that is very awesome right there. Um, the next one is cubic TNT. This one, it kind of just makes, like, a cubed area. Like, a small cubed area. So, I'll explode it right... Right there. And you'll see what I mean. This one, not too spectacular like some of the other ones. But it does something useful, I guess. So, yeah, it made a square for you. So, if you wanted to build a base underground, it might be really useful. But other than that, I'm not really sure why you'd use it. The next one is multiply TNT. Um, what this one does, it, like, multiplies the blocks it blows up. It, like, doubles them. But it doesn't work with any good blocks. So, don't put, like, diamonds around it. Because you're, you're not going to get double blocks back. So, you're going to see I'm going to get, like, a lot of dirt compared to how much blew up. Like, right there. Yeah, there's a lot of dirt and stone right there. Like, double the amount. Any good ores just won't work. Like, you can't, like, cheat and get extra like that. Then you can just, like, keep blowing stuff up over and over again. On this one, Ghost TNT. What it does, it actually sinks down into the ground and then blows up down there. Obviously, it's going to be hard to tell where it blew up. So, just to show you guys an example... I'm going to put one at the top of the jungle tree, and then we'll actually be able to see the explosion. Because I don't want to dig all the way under the ground trying to find where it exploded. Alright, now we can find this. It's probably just a little bit deeper here. Alright, where are you? There we go. So yeah, I made this hole right here. I hear mobs. So yeah, if you want to make a hole underneath the ground from above the ground, you now are able to do that. So the next TNT to look at is drilling TNT. And what it does is it drills a hole down basically to bedrock. It's like a one hole down. You'll see what I mean in a second. Oh, I was wrong. That was the wrong one. That one does a big hole. Pig, don't fall in. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you committing suicide? Don't do that. Why, why would you do that? You didn't have to. You jumped like five times right there. Oh, I got it confused with this one. Digging TNT does the one hole. I know they look really similar. That's why. So yeah, that's the good one. This is the mediocre one. Want to get down to the ground? Like one small... Don't go in there. He's looking in. It's too dangerous. Don't go in. Your friend, you saw what happened to him. He got stuck in the hole. The same could happen to you. I won't allow it. See, listen to me. But yeah, this one is much bigger and cooler. All the animals are like getting tricked by it. They want to go in. All right, so this one is the timer TNT. And it like takes a while to blow up. I'll show you guys right here. Um, so it's going to switch back. Right now, it's in green. That means you have a long time. It's kind of like a street light, you know? When it's green, you have plenty of time. Just go. Then it turns to yellow. You have less time. I'm pretty sure that's what it's based off of. It, it has to be. And now that it's turning red, it's going to blow up soon. So you might want to get away. Not a big explosion, but I like the idea of it. Like, that would actually be useful in, like, survival. Because you'd have time to, like, run away, not kill yourself. Alright, so we are on to Reaction TNT. It's pretty cool looking. I like how all the TNTs look like completely different. It is a blue color to it. Got like some kind of weird colors coming off it. And here we go! Giant explosion! That was pretty sick. Oh my god, it's never ending. It is never ending. Now that is a big explosion. See, the cool thing is, some of these TNTs don't go in, like, one shot, like the times 500 one. So you can get a big explosion like this without it, like, you know, destroying your Minecraft. Because it does it, like, a little bit at a time. And another dungeon. Th these are driving me crazy. Why are there so many of these around? What's in here, guys? Just checking. I was curious. Don't mean to bother you in your little home here. What's the next one, anyway? Um, Animal TNT. This one's kind of cool. It actually isn't just animals. It probably should be called mob TNT. What it does, it creates, like, all the mobs in Minecraft in, like, one cluster. So we'll put it down right here. I wouldn't call them animals, but, you know, you can if you want. And it's about to explode. Bam. Lots of animals and stuff. There's mushrooms. It's pretty weird, isn't it? Witches. Zombie pig, man. If you really want to fight, you'll like that TNT. All right, so the next one is sand firework. So what it's going to do is make fireworks for you, but it's out of sand. Get ready for it. Here comes the sand. I think it's cool, though. And now there is sand all over your world. I would actually hate that in survival. I'd be like, oh, my God, I got to clean this up now. Look terrible. 
Okay, so this one, the floating island TNT. What it does, it copies the ground. Like, let's say, um, this stuff over here. What is going on? Are you all right? Saved your life, pig. I thought you were a sheep for some reason. <laughs> um, it's going to copy the ground and put it into the air. The thing is, you can't put, like, diamonds there. You know, so you get extra diamonds. It just doesn't work that way. It doesn't work with any good blocks. I like the block, though. And it still looks like TNT because of the top. It looks pretty awesome. Here we go. We're going to blow it up and... This ground should be in the air. Wait for it. Get a good view. And come on. This is another one of the ones that's kind of hard to generate. And some stuff fell, but if you get to the top here, I imagine there'll be trees. Yes, there we go. So, yeah, here's all the sand and everything. You can't bring, like, diamonds and stuff up. That's one of the downfalls of it. But it's very cool. You can have, like, a house up in the air. So the next one is Gravity TNT, and what it does, it grabs like everything towards it. The gravity grabs it, and I am even getting pulled in. I'm trying to get far enough away so it doesn't happen to me. And they're all going to get thrown into the air. It is so awesome. All right, here we go. Blow, and there they go. High into the air and crashing down, obviously, easily killing everything. But how cool is that? Oh, more mushrooms. Oh, it's raining. The chicken is, <laughs> the chicken is trying to float its way down safely. That is so nice. I've never seen anything like that before. That's pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, you can kill a lot of mobs with that and just make them rain from the sky. All right, the next one, another like sky thing. This one is TNT fireworks. And here we go. TNT should rain down. And it happens for a while too. Like there's lots of explosions. And what I noticed is after a bit, like one or two will still keep flying down like it is right now. They come down for like a minute. It's very cool. Yeah, big explosion. The land here. I've totally annihilated this world for this review. Any more TNT? Just checking. I heard another. There's another one. See, they keep coming down. All right, so we are on to Easter TNT. Actually, it's just called Easter Egg. I thought it was Easter TNT. I thought everything was TNT. But um, this one right here, basically, it's going to make a lot of different stuff. You'll see in a second. I'm sorry, guys that are close to this. And yeah, there are pumpkins and melons. It's not done either. It keeps going. More of them blowing up. I don't even want to move. It's freaking me out. So yeah, if you really want pumpkins and melons, you can get so many. I've never seen so many pumpkins and melons in my life. Like, he doesn't even want to load here. But yeah, kind of weird, right? Um, There is one more kind of TNT called custom TNT. Basically, you can go into the config file and customize it to how big of an explosion and stuff like that. I didn't actually do anything with it, but um, you can make something really cool. You can even make a giant massive explosion if your computer can handle it. And definitely have some fun with that. They actually also added in some dynamite. And it's pretty much the same as TNT, but I believe it's a little bit weaker. That is normal dynamite. Times 5. And these don't crash your Minecraft as easily. I've noticed. Times 20. This one... Times 100, throw right in the middle. There we go. And 500 should work. This has worked for me every time I've tried it. Big explosion. Come on, don't crash me. I'm actually nervous now. There we go. Yeah, that is that is a nice explosion right there. And we are going to try the meteor one, which is like the ultimate DD in this mod. And you can actually see like a meteor come down. See it in one second. Come on, meteor. There it is. And there we go. A massive crater. They like knocked me back and there's like fire in it too. Um, this one is flat dynamite. Flatten it out a bit here. Try to get down to actually see it. Didn't really flatten it out that much. Let me try that again. Throw a couple. <laughs> yeah, this is one of the laggiest mods you're ever going to work with. And here comes the mining one. Again, let me just toss it like in there. Like that. And yeah, it, like flattens it out for you. It's pretty cool. So they actually didn't make dynamite for every single kind of TNT yet. But I figured I should just show you guys them all anyway. Um, this one is compact dynamite. Nice explosion there. And then those should blow as well. And I feel like the dynamite will work a lot better if your PC isn't that good. I mean, they seem to, you know, not lag me too badly. This one, fire dynamite. Turn everything into flames. Snow dynamite. Snow. And the ocean dynamite. Ocean right there. Um, vaporize. Let's get rid of it. There we go. I'm sorry, squids. Here is Hellfire once again. And there's a ghast for us. And let's see, what is left? Ender Dynamite. 
Just throw me back if you can. <laughs> there we go. And the last one. Chemical Dynamite. I really like that one. The effects just look so cool. They made a really big hole down there. So yeah, guys, that is about all there is to show with this mod. There are tons of kinds of explosives to mess around with. If you want to check it out, the download is in the description. And if you enjoyed the review, I'd really appreciate it if you left a like and subscribed. It really does help me out. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.